Connection Kids Online. I'm Mr. Trevor, and I'm so glad you're here today. You know, we're talking about going on an adventure of a lifetime with Jesus, and adventures aren't always meant to be taken alone. Do you think adventures are better with or without friends and family to share them with? I have a really important question to ask everyone. Are you ready? This, this is super important. Okay, here we go. Would you rather be stranded on an island with the funniest person in the world or the smartest person in the world? Hmm, that's a tough one. All right, everybody ready? On the count of three, shout out your answer. One, two, three. Cool, cool. I would choose the smartest because I feel like it would give me the best chance to not only survive, but get off the island. It's fun to think of people we want to spend time with and what we would do and possibly learn from each other. Spending all of our time alone would get pretty boring and we really wouldn't learn much about ourselves or others. And this reminds me of our Bible story today and a group of people Jesus chose to follow him and learn from him and become a family with him. But before we get to that Bible story, let's check out our new memory verse. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord God is with you wherever you go. Stories of the Bible. Jesus' disciples. These are Jesus' disciples. Hey they were the 12 men who followed Jesus during his time on earth. Some were fishermen like Peter, Andrew, James, and John. Some were tax collectors like Matthew. Me? Yeah, you. Some were even brothers like Peter and Andrew, yep. or James and John. These 12 men saw Jesus do amazing things like calming storms, <laughs> turning water into wine, healing people from sickness, helping people who were blind see, making people who couldn't walk, walk, and even raising people from the dead. Uh, they heard Jesus teach about God's love and tell stories that taught them and others about the kingdom of heaven. Hey, Jesus! 
Jesus would often turn to them and teach them what these stories meant. Of the 12 disciples, there were three that were closest to Jesus. Their names were Peter, hey. James, and John. Hey. These three got to see Jesus do miracles that others did not. Oh, hey, everyone. They even got to see him transformed on a mountain and saw Jesus' face shine with the glory of God. The disciples were with Jesus before he was arrested and taken to the cross. On that night, one of the disciples named Judas betrayed Jesus by showing the men who came to arrest Jesus who he was. The other disciples were afraid when Jesus was taken and put to death on the cross. They hid and didn't know what to do until they heard that Jesus was alive. Hey For 40 days, Jesus appeared to the disciples. Jesus showed them and others that he was truly alive. He told his disciple Thomas that he could touch the marks from the cross on his hands and side, so he would know that it was really Jesus. Jesus promised his disciples that he would send them the Holy Spirit to be their helper. He told his disciples to go and make disciples of all nations. Then Jesus went to heaven. The disciples waited, just as Jesus told them, for the Holy Spirit to come. And the Holy Spirit did come and fill them with power. They went to teach the new disciples to obey all the commands Jesus had given them and baptized them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Some wrote letters to the new churches to encourage them and teach them about God's commands. Some of the disciples, like Matthew and John, wrote down the stories of Jesus' time on earth so that all who read the words would believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God. The disciples went on to tell the good news of Jesus wherever they went, and many of the people they shared with came to believe and follow Jesus. The disciples started the church. They were persecuted and treated badly because of their faith, but they never stopped preaching about Jesus. What's up all you explorers out there? My name is Caroline and I'll be your guide. I'm going on an adventure and I'm taking you with me. Each week, I'll be taking on a new challenge, from scavenger hunts to escape rooms, and I'll be documenting everything with the best gear around. This is Vlog Vibes. What's up all you adventurers out there? Today, I'm outside of the escape game in Irvine, California. And I don't know if you guys have ever played an escape room before, but this is supposed to be one of the best ones in the country. So they have a bunch of awesome themed rooms like Special Ops, The Heist, and Prison Break. But today, I feel like going back to school. So we'll be conquering the playground. Let's go. OK, escape rooms can be pretty complicated, and I'm not confident I could do this on my own. So I invited some help. Everyone, I want you to meet my best friends, Rachel and Logan. Hey, guys. What's up? We've been going on adventures together for years, and so I think we're going to make a great team. You guys ready to hit the schoolyard? Oh, big time. Totally. Let's go. Awesome. How long do you guys think it'll take us to get out? Probably like 15 minutes, Matt. What? Uh, give us a little wiggle room, say 45. OK, yeah. Well, there's only one way to find out, so let's go check it out. OK, hopefully we all remember elementary school enough to solve this puzzle. But we have exactly 60 minutes, so we should get started, OK? All right, let's go. Whoa, look at that door Whoa. just open. Look at how sick that was. This is awesome. OK, so we found so many backpacks with a bunch of different pieces on the inside. Logan's doing an awesome job with it. A lot of moving pieces here. Four, negative four. Yes! We got it, yes! We got it in yes! place. Awesome. That's great. High five. Yeah. Awesome Woo! job. Good teamwork. Got is that it? it? Oh, yeah! We got some jump rope and a big red button. Whoa! Whoa, Whoa a trap door! Look at that. It's the, I think it's a Golden Gate Bridge. Should we go check the playground? I think we should go check the playground. Whoa. What? Whoa. Oh, we got a slide! That was so sick! That'd be awesome. Whoa. 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 That was awesome! Nice! Whoa. This is crazy! This is insane! Okay, we gotta get it out. Nice! 
I got it. Second chance ball out. Okay, what's inside of it? We got a key. Yes! Yes! Awesome. Oh, okay. Whoa, look at that. Right. Timmy's okay. science project. Facts about electricity. Round. Okay, okay. Grab that cord up there. Let's see. Let me just take it with me. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> no way! That was so cool! That's so <laughs> awesome! Wait, that was that cool? You got so freaked out! One, two, three, four, five, blue. Okay. Four. Oh, whoa! Yeah. That's so yeah. cool! Look at that! That was awesome! <laughs> we did it! Yeah. That was awesome! That's a dodgeball! That's a whole dodgeball! That's so cool! Oh, no. I can't! <laughs> Well, we made it out with just a few minutes to spare, but I'll say it, that was a lot harder than I expected. And that wasn't even the hardest one. No. Yeah, I definitely thought it was gonna be a lot easier. It was kind of creepy being stuck in that playground for a while. But I wouldn't have been able to do it without you guys, so thanks for all your help today. Yeah. Thanks for having us, it was so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're gonna head back to base camp, so I'll see you guys there. It can be fun to go on adventures all by yourself. I love going on solo road trips and discovering new places all on my own. But the best adventures will always be shared with friends. There was no way I would have gotten out of that escape room by myself. It took all three of us to solve all the puzzles and complete every task. Some of my favorite stories are about a group of friends that go off on an adventure of a lifetime together, the disciples. They endure all kinds of tests and trials, but they are ultimately able to get through it all because they have each other and a common purpose together to follow and serve Jesus. That's amazing. The Bible is full of stories that show us how much God values friendship and the support of others in God's family. When Jesus began his ministry, he specifically picked out 12 disciples because he knew that he needed an inner circle who he could count on to help share his message. Jesus loved all of his disciples, not just because they were there to help him, but because they kept him company during all the ups and downs. They were by his side during his highest moments, like performing miracles and healing people, even at his lowest moments, like when he was preparing to die. Even more than 2,000 years later, we could be friends with Jesus ourselves. But Jesus also wants us to be friends with other Christians so we have the support and company of God's family on our adventure. While I'm sure you all have friends who believe different things, it's important to have Christian friendships in your life as well. It is how we get to experience being a part of God's family. God's family is made up of anyone who loves Jesus. It could be your parents, your siblings, your friends and teachers here at church, or even people at school who love Jesus. You are all a part of one big extended family. By being friends with one another, we can help each other know God better and encourage one another during difficult times. We could share about Jesus together, help others by sharing what we have, and help each other make the right choices. When we worship, we thank God for His incredible love for us. God loves us very much and has great plans for us. As we prepare for our adventure through life with Jesus as our guide, let's take some time worshiping and honoring him. So let's sing the words to this song and thank him and praise him with our whole heart right now together. Feel the wonder, say his name, watch the darkness slip away, put your power on display. Say goodbye to fear and shame
That was pretty neat how Caroline was able to choose some close friends that she trusted to help her out. That allowed them to work together and figure out the puzzles and solve the mysteries of the escape room they were in. In our Bible story, we got to hear about when Jesus chose some of his closest friends, his disciples, and how they became part of God's family. Jesus taught his disciples while he was with them and they were able to help each other and help others to learn to follow Jesus and join God's family too. And that's what being part of God's family is about, helping each other and helping others know more about Jesus and grow closer to him. By helping each other, we can learn and grow and we can better help one another be prepared for our adventures with Jesus. Thankfully, we have examples that God gives us in the Bible to show us how important it is to have others who follow Jesus in our lives to help us out. Let's pray now and give thanks to Jesus. Dear God, thank you for giving us the Bible and stories like Jesus and his disciples to remind us that going on adventures with others always lightens the load and is way more fun. When we are going through tough times, remind us to lean on God's family that you provide for us who are helping us make the right choices. We thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. What an awesome reminder of how God knows we will need help in our everyday adventures with Jesus. The best part is there's no fee, no membership card or anything like that. It's all free. God's family includes anyone who has chosen to believe in, trust, and follow Jesus. He knows life is hard sometimes and that we may need help. Luckily, we have examples like today's story in the Bible to show us it's okay to ask for help when we need it. There will be times you need some help from or encouragement, or even maybe you will need some questions answered. It's always better and easier when we all work together and with the help of God's family, we are able to work together to help each other and serve each other just like God planned. Remember, we can ask friends, family, leaders at church, really anyone who follows Jesus and is part of the family of God. Most of all, we can ask the Holy Spirit for guidance in our adventure, and he will help us if we listen. God's family is so big and awesome. So think of someone this week that you would like to share about this family and adventure with, and pray for them, and pray for the courage to share about Jesus with them. I'm so glad we could be together today. We love you, and we're praying for you here at Connection Kids. Have a great week.